Well, three decades. That's how long Baltimoreans and fans from all over the world have been enjoying Oriole Park at Camden Yards. As 11 TV Hill contributor Lacey Griffiths explains, a new era of Major League Baseball began when the park opened, and 30 years later, it continues to be a highlight in Charm City. Take me out to the ball game, a staple in downtown Baltimore and dubbed the ballpark that forever changed baseball. Oriole Park at Camden Yards is celebrating its opening 30 years ago. Here's to the ballpark. It started a revolution. Hard to believe Camden Yards is now the 10th oldest park in the majors. The idea for a new baseball park to replace Memorial Stadium had been in the works for years. When we moved here from Memorial Stadium, a lot of people didn't want to move. Uh, but once you came here, it felt like it had been here. But it wasn't until the park opened its doors on April 6, 1992, that a new era of Major League Baseball began. Ballparks that were built in the, in the 60s and 70s were basically multi-use stadiums. When they were in the planning stages, there were some must-haves at the new park. An intimate, old-fashioned feel, brick and exposed steel, and a field molded to the shape of the space it would settle into in downtown. Oriole Park is said to have become the model copied by every stadium built since. There have been 20 new ballparks built in the major leagues since Camden opened, over 150 minor league and spring training ballparks, and every one of them has taken their cue from what Camden Yard started. Can you spot something in the yard that came from Memorial Stadium? Foul ball. That's right. These foul poles are the originals. And did you know the warehouse at the park is the longest building on the East Coast, measuring 1,016 feet, yet only 51 feet wide? This park has character, but it has evolved with the times. A lot of science has changed with how to grow grass and how to maintain the grass. The technology of the equipment that we use on a daily basis has really grown over the years. There are also wider seats, a kids play area, a rooftop bar, upgraded concession stands, everything to make going to the ballpark that much sweeter. Statues of six Orioles Hall of Fame legends are in left field next to the picnic area. And that's what the 30th anniversary is about, celebrating the past. Some are big name players, some are players that people may have forgotten, but they had they had a moment or they had some significance in our history. While looking to the future. Our 30th anniversary, we're going to tackle everything from headwear apparel down to novelty. Um, we'll have limited edition drops throughout the season as well in our headwear category. Over the last 30 years, the park has welcomed more than 72 million fans from every state in the U.S. and from more than 100 countries. The city of Baltimore and the entire state of Maryland have derived more than $10 billion in economic impact from the park. And this summer, talk about a home run. Legendary singer-songwriter Paul McCartney will perform the second ever major concert at Camden Yards on Sunday, June 12th as part of his 2022 Got Back Tour. It'll be McCartney's first performance in Baltimore in nearly 60 years. He last visited Charm City in 1964 during the Beatles' first North American tour. Here's to the next 30. For 11TV Hill, I'm Lacey Griffith.